There are a couple things I gotta update you guys on. It's been a while. So the change is COVID-19 has happened. I have, uh, everybody's been kicked out of the colleges, the universities, and uh, I'm back at home. But, I have moved to the basement. Very, very nice change of scenery. Uh, not ideal. Better than the room, though. I'll show you why. First things first. This. I'm too old for that. The wall, very, uh, it's tan. Sort of, uh, dulls my mood. Um, too many pictures of me around. Like that. Or that. Or that. Or that. Or that. Too much stuff that I don't need. And I don't need to be looking at every day. Like this. Or these. Or certificate for riding a bike for the first time. Or this. I don't even juggle. Legos? I, I still love Legos. Who doesn't love Legos? <sighs> Last thing I don't like about it. This is the hottest room in the house. Now to talk about the basement. I love it. Starting from when I wake up. It's very bright. I have windows there, there, and all the way out. My bike's there because I have space for it. The hook there for my backpack and everything. I have a TV. And then I have my clothes over here. Um, uh, I'm going to tell a big story, or not too big, but, uh, what this red paint is from. Um, actually, I've already told the story. I'll put it in right now. Whew! So my mom comes into my room, and she's like, hey, can you help me open this spray, this spray paint can? And I'm like, sure, what's wrong? She's like, I can't open it. It's... Just can't open the cap. Apparently you're supposed to like pull it and squeeze and pull it. It wasn't working. I tried doing it. And then I tried really aggressively and then just tried ripping it off. And of course, the uh, the cap comes off with it. And so it sprang everywhere. My mom is screaming. She's running. She ran all the way over to the bathroom. I don't even know why or what the point of running in the bathroom is. But she ran into the bathroom. She's still screaming. It's like, put it in the trash can, throw it out the window. Like, I don't know. And so it gets all over the wall. My pillows. It gets all over my stuff over here. It gets on my headphones. It gets on those headphones. It got on this. It's all over my phone screen, too. Everything. It's on the floor. It literally looked like someone just died. And was murdered or something. And so I'm running at this point. I, I guess I just slipped and, like, I don't know. And it gets all over my hand. Like, I start covering, like, the cap with my finger. And it's, like, my, I had to clean it. But, uh, there was a trash can here. And, of course, in all this adrenaline, I just didn't really remember that there was a trash can right in front of me. I could have just thrown it in the trash can. But, no. I decided to run over here and get it all over the wall and the floor. And then I decide to slip on the floor with the paint um and then i'm still running and at this point like this door is locked and this is closed too and so i like try opening it it won't open so i mean it's more time for it to spray everywhere and so i i undo it I open it my mom's still screaming at me and so it gets all over this door and then i open it and run out here and just throw it in the grass and this is where it uh took its last uh, breath. As you guys know, it's been a really long time since I filmed. A while since I uploaded the last video. A lot of things have changed. One thing I did during uh, this quarantine time is tried to cut my own hair. It worked out kind of well, but that was after a huge fail. I'm putting it up right now. The, uh, the haircut actually turned out pretty well, um, only from this angle. Um, I think I was cutting my hair to, 
uh, to look really good with a hat on. And uh, for a hat on, like, for months. Uh, so this is uh, what it looks like. <laughs> But, uh, what I'm going for is a top knot, and I do need to grow out, like, the hairs right here a little more, but, uh, I was really just trying to cut down the sides, and I could kind of fade it right here, but, uh, I don't really want to touch it anymore, because I'm just going to absolutely ruin my head, um, or just go straight bald on the sides. But, yeah, uh, if you look at the back, um... This is perfect for hats. Wow. ADHD kicked in. I didn't realize I forgot to show you uh, the second part of uh, why I love this basement. Let's get to it. Of course, the bike, I already said that. But what I love is countertop, kitchen area. It just doesn't have a stove or oven which is completely fine, I can just go upstairs, um, ignore the dishes. Um, my uh, my fridge, I haven't really stocked it up completely yet. Um, you know, just some dishes, um, snacks, you know, the regular. Uh, got my blender, blender bottles, uh, bottles to blend with, you know, um, just the, the multivitamin uh, fish oil um, thing. Uh, definitely gonna intake some uh, Spider ant roach killer um, after the multivitamins. Don't worry about that. I'm uh, definitely fending them off. One more thing. These babies. I love these. Let's keep going. Then we have the bathroom. Regular bathroom, definitely have my toilet paper stocked. Um, other stuff, uh, shower. Pretty much it. Great news is, today is first day of summer for me. Last semester was pretty rough. The semester before that ended in a very poor manner. I'll tell you about that in a sec. But I had to take physics twice. But I'm finally done with physics. One. I have to take two next semester. So what happened with physics was two semesters ago, I was taking physics one. I was doing really well. And by the time the final hit, I had to be in the class. And I was trying to get an A. So I, like, I studied pretty hard. And I ended up staying up till 12 studying. And then I just couldn't go to sleep. And the exam was earlier than the class was normally at. Uh, and I ended up sleeping through the, the test completely. Woke up, uh, ran over to the testing center, like, nobody there. I wasn't able to take it. Um, and then um, I ran over to my professor's, like, office. Talked to him, like, begging him and everything to, like, let me have just a couple minutes with the exam just because... Um, in order for me to even like to pass the class, all I needed was like 15% on the exam. Uh, and I wasn't able to do it, he wouldn't let me do it. Uh, so I had to be in the class and just from that, that mistake, um, just sleeping through, uh, made me fail the class. So I had to take it again. So I just finished it this semester, um, got a B, um, a harder professor, I, I was barely able to scrape that together, and I don't even know why. Because um, I knew the, the subject better than I did last semester. Yes, it is many hours later. I ended up uh, editing, putting stuff together. There's a couple clips that I needed to find. Maybe, like, with me wearing these things around the mall for, like, an hour or two. Everybody staring at me and just awkward looks, and it was just hilarious. A great time. Um, and then the footage of what happened with the paint. Um, it looks like um, I'm living in a crime scene. I did, my bed used to be over here, um, like this instead of over here. 
Uh, and so there's a lot of paint behind like my shirts and my pants, like on that wall. And it just, it looks like someone died and was like dragged out. There's a, my foot smudge there. Um, and I mean, it, it's great that the paint happened to just be red. So it definitely doesn't look like it's paint. Um, and then that, like we tried scrubbing it off, but it doesn't work. Um, it's all over here. It's all over the other door on the other side. And then there's some of the grass. Um, last thing I'm going to talk about tonight is you might have seen it if you looked close enough. Um, when I pointed the camera, uh, I don't think you would have seen it, but I got my first car. It's pretty exciting. I will uh, definitely show that in tomorrow's video, but this is the end for me tonight, so have a good night.